Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I thought I would come and give you a migraine update because the last one was in July and it's now October, so three months later. Um, I also did a video between then and now talking about how I can't really take HRT anymore. I know that it's not it's not that straightforward that I can't take HRT. There would be ways for me to figure out to possibly take HRT in different forms, but I don't have any major symptoms that I feel it I need to be on HRT at the moment. I wanted it more for the cardio protective effect and I wanted to see if it helped my migraines. It actually made migraine, my migraines worse both times I was on HRT. So I understand that there are other medications and there are different forms of it that might not um, make my migraine worse, but I don't, if they're making it worse, they're not, it's not something that's going to improve them if that makes sense. Um, so I've just sort of put that aside at the moment. If at any point I have any major symptoms from menopause, I can fill in a form with my GP and go to see a specialist, but it's just not something, I need to keep the appointments, I need to focus on these migraines at the moment, and the appointment with the, the hormone specialist would be an hour's drive away, and I already have to do that to see the neurologist, and I, I need to, like I said, focus on one thing at a time. I, other than, I have hot, hot flushes and sleep problems but I'm kind of on top of those with some supplements that I'll talk about in another video um, but migraine is, is the biggest thing in my life at the moment that I need to deal with. So where we were last time was I was going to try the HRT so obviously that's kind of crossed off that doesn't help definitely um, and I was in the three month washout period waiting for the new um, injection to be sent to me called Ajiv. So I've already tried Amavig and now to try it Adjuvy. They are both CGRP medications, um, so they're, they're the same class of medication, they, it just Adjuvy works in a slightly different way, so the neurologist thought it was worth trying. Um, it arrived and I injected on the 30th of August, and I, I was desperate for it to work, you know, I'm d desperate for any help. Now, just to recap on Amavig, when I took Amavig, for the first month I took it, I had like a miraculous response. I had I think I only had like four or five migraines that first month. It was like I'd gone back to normal, you know, but then it just stopped working for me. Um, so I had high expectations of Adjuvi at first, but I thought even if it had gone amazingly in the first month, I thought it probably won't last. Um, it didn't actually work out that way, but September as a month was better than any of the previous months this year but not by a lot. So most months I have approximately three days without migraine or with mild symptoms. So days where I can just get on with things and I don't need to take any strong pain relief. Um, and in September I had eight days. So eight days versus three days, five extra days a month. So an extra day a week it gave me, which it doesn't sound like much, but it it is a lot really and it wasn't giving me, um, it wasn't eight days with no symptoms, I think I had one day with no symptoms but it was giving me days with mild symptoms so I could get on and, and do things and I thought well you know as long as I can get more things done that's something. The other thing that I had noticed in September was normally in my um, diary the severe, it's, it's mild to none then moderate then severe and normally the severe one is completely full up but there wasn't as many severe migraines it seemed to reduce them to moderate but moderate when I tell people my day on a, for moderate like my friend will say to me no that's not moderate that's severe sorry about that a little break to put Watson's food away in the freezer and <laughs> um, where was I say moderate so yeah for me um, a moderate day is well a severe day is when it starts as soon as I wake up or, or not long after I wake up, maybe I've got my makeup on and then I already feel like the migraine's coming on. I get the kind of pre-migraine, if you like, for quite some hours before the headache. Um, and I basically can't do anything. I just spend the day trying to do things. You know, like I'll sit there, I'll sit there and I think, perhaps I'll go to the computer and I'll eventually be able to come and walk down here. But then I'm like, no, I can't, I'm too dizzy. And then I'll think, right, I'll go and try and run a bath. And like literally every small basic thing takes forever and I end up doing nothing all day. That's a severe day to me. And I, I sleep, you know, a couple of times I'll go and try and lie down and see if I can actually get to sleep, which sometimes help helps. And other times I'll just, sometimes I'll sleep for two or three hours. Other times I just won't be able to sleep. So I'll get up again and try again, you know, that's severe to me. On a moderate day, that to me means that either, although I, 
either I've had the symptoms all day long um, or the symptoms have been they've given me some hours in the day so for example sometimes it doesn't come on until lunchtime and then it goes away after dinner and so I've had the morning and the evening and it's only been there in the afternoon the migraine um, so I would put that under the moderate category also under the moderate category I put if I had it from when I woke up to when I went to bed but that it was bearable enough that I could come and sit and write an email or not necessarily edit and whatnot but maybe do some ironing have a shower I could pull myself through doing things but it wasn't much fun doing them um, that's the one that my friend says that's severe because <laughs> To me, it's better for my mental health because I, I get things done, but it's miserable because, you know, like say I walk Watson, I'm just the whole time worried he's gonna pull me over and I'm just, I don't feel like talking to anybody. I don't feel like being out walking. So he probably feels my tension, you know. Um, so anyway, that's how I rate moderate and severe. And obviously mild is when I, I don't notice it so much. I can get on with things happily um, or none is even better. So September, there were a lot of moderate days, which I then realized I was like, you know, I'd almost prefer a severe day because severe is not like, I'm not relating it to the pain because I, the headache pain, when the head pain is severe, I have solutions for that. Dizepan actually works for it and Cephaly device works for my severe migraine to take for the pain sorry the headache pain to take it back down to a level that I can cope with it's the dizziness and lethargy that is the biggest problem for me that I can be sitting there and have feel like the room's spinning not have any energy to get up and do things um so yeah I I was kind of didn't know what to say when everybody was asking me you know my friends and family have been asking me how's Adjavi going is it working for you you know and I'd say what well what you know this today has been a lot milder and I've had a few more days um, but I think that people are expecting a cure or you know a near cure for me to be better 90% of the time and that is not what is offered by the NHS because there is no cure for migraines they will consider it a success if I have a 50% response and that would mean that I had a migraine every other day versus every day um, so it still doesn't seem to have been, you know, it's not been that successful for that month. But also when I say, you know, oh, well, this is me, had a good day, a lot of my friends and family will be like, oh, that's, it's, it's working great, you know, but it's, I know that that's, it's an up and down journey and it's going to be like that for a long time. I don't think there's going to be anything that's just going to be amazing and fantastic. I, I hope there is, of course, but I don't think there will be. So that was September. Um, I was due to inject again before we went on a holiday, so about, around about the 25th of September, and I got the injection in time, and I opened it and took the end off, and all the liquid went spurting out. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, because I was having, that week, the fourth week, my migraines were pretty bad, and I thought, I'm going on holiday now, you know, but, so I was trying to put it on me and get it, it just, it was a, a faulty injection, unfortunately. So I got in touch with the company that delivers the injection and obviously there was nothing they could do at that time because I was going on holiday. I literally was just about to leave to go to Northumberland. Um, but they arranged delivery for the day we were back. So it's another reason we had to change our plans on the week we were back because I had to wait in for this injection arriving. And then I just had to wait half an hour for it to be have been out of the fridge and I injected. So I injected on... It's a week past Monday, so I think it was probably the 3rd of October, something like that. So that's a week and a half ago. And it's been severe since then. So, so nothing just yet has helped. But actually in September, although I had eight better days, it didn't start until a week after I had injected. Um, it was sort of the middle two weeks of having injected that seemed to be a bit better. So it could be that from now going forward, things improve. Certainly today, today is much better for October. And what is it, the 11th or something today? I think so, I think it's the 11th of October today. And it's been nothing but severe until today. So I, I, it is quarter past 10 and I haven't taken any pain relief at all. Um, the difficult thing with the pain relief as well, I, I don't know whether I've mentioned before, is I'm only allowed to take tramadol and paracetamol for 15 days of the month, which has been pretty horrendous because for the other 15 days, it means that I have, I now have no pain relief for my joint pain <laughs> um, because I can't take ibuprofen, you know. Um, but anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, yesterday was the worst headache I've had 
this year. It was awful. It was it was just awful, horrendous. Um, and I took two diazepam and two tramadol and it still wasn't getting on top of it. My cephaly finally gave me some relief from that. I don't think Adjavi is going to be a success either. Um, and I don't know now what the next step is. I haven't actually asked and I haven't seen my neurologist. I can't remember the last time I saw him. I've spoken to him on the phone a few times. You know, I've had a, a telephone um, appointment, but I'm actually seeing him in November. I think it's around the 15th, 16th, some, something like that. I've got an appointment with him and that's to discuss how the adjuvant is going. So I think um, it doesn't look like it's going to be a success. You have to take it for three months. So I'm in the middle of month two and um, yeah, it's, it's not hugely successful, but it's helping a little bit. I think I think and hope that with a combination of Amovig working really well that first month and then this having some effect that I may be eligible to try the third one which is called Emgality um, and I know there are people for whom Adjavi hasn't worked, Amovig hasn't worked but Emgality does but the policy within the NHS used to be that you in Scotland that you could only try two MABs I think they're called um, so I don't know if that's changed and I don't know I wish I knew what the next step was but I don't um, but I, I know that if nothing else I'll have to have he'll either increase the dose if there is a possible possibility to increase the dose which I don't believe there is with Adjuve or there'll be another three month washout period before I can try another one anyway so that would mean December, January, February so again it's going to be March until I can try something again so this is the same position I was in last year um, the only thing with Adjavi is you can either take it once a month or you can take it once every three months, once a quarter. And all you do is you take, you, you use the three injections at once. So I am curious to see if that would work for me because it would, because I've gotten a little bit of benefit from this, it would be good to see if a, a higher dose would, would be beneficial you know uh, but I don't know I just don't know what he's going to say um, I'm nervous about going to see the neurologist because he's a lovely lovely guy but do you remember I've told you the story that about his he's kind of seems to have had a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde because when I did see him I have only seen him once and he said he said something about he would do um, a physical exam next time because I haven't had that for with any of these neurologists I haven't had a physical exam by a neurologist for about 15 years I did have one by the other woman I saw for my migraines way back when um but he was very positive when I saw him and you know like don't worry there's new things coming out for for migraines all the time and sometimes you know it takes a little bit of this a little bit of that and he was very very positive that we'd find something however then I got a phone call from him and it was very negative and he was just like you know we can try this Adjavi, but you know, the more things you've tried for a migraine, the less likely it is to work. And I was like, why would he talk to me like that? You know, because it's, you know, I'm not even going to get a placebo effect if you're putting these thoughts into my mind that it might not work, you know. So I don't know what to expect from him. I don't know whether I'll get the positive neurologist or the negative neurologist, but I'm going to ask him if there's been anybody else like myself that has tried Botox and Mabs and all of the preventative tablets and for whom migraine medication doesn't work. So not just the preventatives, but like triptans don't work for me either, you know, um, and see what he says. So yeah, I, I can't think about it too much because I just, I can't second guess what he's going to say. I have no idea, um, but it'll be interesting to see. And that is in, what's that, about five or six weeks? something like that, so we'll see what goes on then. So as I said, the only pain relief I've got is tramadol. Um, unfortunately, what happened last week was the tramadol seems to have stopped working, and that may be because I've taken too much of it, because I sort of saved it up uh, and didn't use too much so that I had enough for my holiday, which I've been told is okay. Um, and so I took it for five, six, seven, I did have a day in between. I took it for a, a long period of time anyway. When I was away, I took it for the five days. Then I had one day off and then I took it for another straight four or five days, I think, because I was still off of, I was still off on holiday, um, but it didn't work. And I think that that's, that is what happens with tramadol. You know, I've been on it for two years now and that's the reason you can't take it every day because it is an opioid that stops working um, 
it stops being as effective and you need more for it to be effective so yeah that is really disappointing because now I'm in the situation where I don't have anything what I should probably do is take a complete break from tramadol and that would probably need to be for two or three weeks and that just seems hideous to me because I wouldn't be able to do anything for two to three weeks you know um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that at the moment but you know like I said today so far so good I've had nothing um, so let's hope that the the Adjavie is going to work for me um, and it's just maybe been a bit delayed <laughs> um, so let me know where you are all at with your migraines I would love to hear from anybody who's in the same position as me you know who's trying everything and it's not working and are you like me do you sometimes question whether it even is migraine I do that all the time I'm like is it actually migraine you know um, I will come back and report back to you when there is um, any change at all thank you so much for watching today and I'll speak to you again soon